Good afternoon. I'm Michelle McKinnon, and I am pleased to be working with Holy Spirit Catholic School. And I have been, I'm very honored to give you a five minute blitz on the importance of unstructured play as you, as you uh, participate in the Lethbridge Play Summit today. I think what I wanna start with is I wanna really start with talking about what is play? What is unstructured play? And what, what did it used to look like and what perhaps does it look like now? Growing up as, uh, growing up as a kid, I lived in a neighborhood where everyone had large families and there was always kids on the street and kids playing in the woods and parents were never really around. We knew where we knew they were there if we needed them, but they really they had their things to do and we had our things to do. And our things to do was was to play. And it was unstructured. And it really we led the play and we led the journey. And the journey was the, the play itself and the destination. The destination was endless. And so when I think about unstructured play and I think about our kids today, I think about how often do they have the opportunity to just play? No rules, they make them up as they go. No preconceived ideas, they roll with what feels good at the time. No um, intended outcome because the destination, the destination is, is really what the journey is all about. And when I think about, when I think about um, play, I think about risky or rough and tumble play. When I was playing out with, with my, my friends and we may get into a, a wrestling match or, or we may um, do some jostling about, there was no adult there to pull us apart because we were fighting. Because we, we weren't fighting. We were, we were just interacting and playing the way we do. Today, we have so much adult supervision that kids don't get to have that rough and tumble play. And that is so important. It's so important for the children to learn boundaries. It's so important for them to learn themselves what they can, what they can handle and what they can't handle. And it's so important for them to say, no, I've had enough and walk away. So, so, so having that opportunity is really, really is critical. And so that's what it is, but why is it so important? Well, unstructured play builds brains. When children are playing without an adult there to intervene and to, and to um, tell them what to do, they're developing critical thinking skills, they're problem solving, they're learning that it's not always their way, their creativity is just going up it's boundless. They have, they have communication and, and negotiation skills. And they have to learn some self-regulation skills as well because you don't always get it your own way. And that's okay because sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. And that peer relationship that is just such a natural part is, is something also that's critical in unstructured play. That negotiation that engaging in collaborative decision-making and, and that collaboration and cooperation are skills that, that are so critical as children grow and, and become adults. It encourages risk management too. Children will naturally take risks, but also they will, they will know where their limits are. But unless they have an opportunity to test their limits, they're not going to know what their limits are. And so you may end up with a teenager who has not had that opportunity to test their limits. And, and that can, can lead to some, some dangerous risky play. But it also the risky play builds resilience. And having healthy, resilient children is really, is really what we want. Of course, without, you know, without po pointing it out, without having to point it out, the physical activity uh, of, of unstructured play is, is, a critical, is a critical part. And it reduces stress because there are no rules, there are no expectations. 
So stress is reduced and confidence, confidence is built. So in the wise words of uh, Mr. Fred Rogers, play is often talked about as if it was a release from serious learning. But for children, play is serious learning. So let them play. <laughs>